You know, the only predator for gorillas is a man. If there's no war, gorillas are safe. It's only the, the situation, political situation or the war, who's making gorillas be killed. This makes the barrier of uh, many tourists who like to come here. But they wish to come. Because those, that money that the tourists will bring will help the conservation of this species. Kahuzi Biega National Park, located in the Eastern Democratic Republic of Congo, is the only place where visitors can see the largest gorillas in the world, the Eastern Lowland Gorilla. Congo has had on and off war and roving militias since the Rwandan genocide spilled across the border in the mid-1990s. But now the Park Service is hoping that a period of relative peace will attract eco-tourists. We wish maybe if we get more tourists, we need to increase the number of uh, habitued gorillas. The park currently has four gorilla families that are comfortable around humans. But to grow the tourist trade, they will need more. Robert Mulimbi is in the process of habituating a silverback named Impungwe. But working with a 500-pound gorilla isn't easy. To train gorillas is very dangerous. At the beginning, the silverback is very, very aggressive. And when we are come to, to habituate him, he supposed you come to attack him. He can rush, he can clap the chest, and if you follow him, he can't run away because he recognizes now, now that this man never attack us. The more we are following him, more he is changing behavior, more he is waiting. Getting Mpungwe habituated to humans is more complicated when tourists are involved. Many of them come from the United States or Europe and are white. When uh, we came with uh, the first time with, with a white man with Tumpungwes. When he saw white men, oh my goodness, he runs away. That is why we, we got idea to use a mask. We said maybe because this uh, envelope is like white man, if you can use this every time when we cross gorillas, maybe Mpungwe will be enjoy to see white people. With the first time we use the mask, we do like this. We did like this to see what will be the reaction to Mbungwe if he ran away. But the first time when he saw us with mask like this, he runs away again. The second time he runs away. The third time he runs away. But after he recognized that this one are no white men, but maybe there are our rangers who come to see us. And later we ask to the office if they can give us uh, white men to see Mbungwe. When they come, Mbungwe didn't run away. It is uh, like a jacking, but later it can give a very good uh, result. Mbungwe is a medium in actuation because we don't know uh, the situation of the country. If the number of tourists come many, we can make him very habituated. But the park workers here know that habituating gorillas to humans can also put the animals in danger. Before the war, we have more than five families which was really habituated. During the war, they had killed Maheshe, Mushamuka, Ninja, Mubalala, and Mishebere. They not run. Uh, when they are close with people. They don't guess if there are a poachers. So why we need more number of rangers to educate gorillas. Kahuzi Biega has about 200 rangers defending the park and the gorillas. 
three of the rangers have been killed in the line of duty. When we see many tourists coming, when they pass money, the chief pay to the, to the rangers. The rangers have now courage to make a patrol. We hope that uh, we have no war in Congo. We hope to protect our gorillas, to protect them first. Now, we try to update others.